So I had people calling me, telling me, I've dreamt about you. God is not happy with you. You are going to hell. A whole lot of things. I can't even tell my friends all these things. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vanessa Pia. And today, I'm going to be telling you why I dropped out of my music career to become a makeup artist. And of course, if you like my look, if you like my makeup, my personality, or my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Without much I do, let's get into the video. Okay, so my music began um, when I was the age 18. That's how I started the career. Actually, I used to sing when I was young and you know, all that, but I actually went into the music industry very well when I was at the age of 18. So I started recording at the studio with Dream Studio Music. And fortunately for me, I was being signed by VT Modeling Agency. So I was fortunate that my manager was a female. Yeah, so I was singing gradually. I brought out two mashups, one single. But along the line, I just decided to put a quit or a stop. Maybe I want to say stop or quit. I decided to pause it yet and do something I feel like it's interesting or something that I love doing for the meantime and then I'm gonna probably some other time get back to it so that's the but it all started um, this way I had a friend way back in senior high school who um, he's a beat maker he's Dion and he's even Dion on YouTube, they could check him out. So he was like, you have an amazing talent. Why don't you go into music? The question was, what kind of music did I want to go into? I think um, that time I was young and I didn't really know what I really wanted. Well, the honest truth is that I do not regret doing music. Just that I do not like the brand with the music career because um, my brand was as a result of the modeling agency that i was in you get me i love singing love songs up to date i don't see anything with wrong with love songs so if i'm given a second opportunity guys i'm gonna sing love songs again right but in my society where i am in when you are um a christian <laughs> and you have a talent okay like a dancer a musician you know my society will tell you to be singing in church be dancing in church be singing to be singing sorry to only gospel songs be dancing to only so gospel songs and nothing else but you know there's there's a, a book in the bible which is songs of solomon uh, the king solomon wrote it and it says all about love so as i said i don't see anything wrong with motivational songs forgiveness songs or inspirational songs love songs i don't see anything wrong with it but the brand the brand was what was the issue because you know i was exposing myself here and there and i i wasn't able to decide what kind of dress i want to wear you know it's a contract so you just have to go by it so that was how i got into uh, music uh, my friend dion introduced me as i said earlier i met um all day all day from dream studio music and i started recording with him then yeah that's how it happened so um the dark side of my music career was the fact that um, 
think I said it one, I was unable to decide what brand I wanted to bring out, especially my dressing, my looks, and how I want to cover up or how I want to expose. Everything was being determined. Okay, that was the first thing. Number two, I was associating with um, people that I was, I was, let me use the word, who were influencing me negatively. Fortunately for me, I wasn't influenced because I, I never smoked, I never drank. But anytime you go to the studio or something like that, you know, you get these guys who are drinking and smoking and <laughs> You have to record with these kind of people. Uh, the people that were around me were people that I felt like they're not going to help me get to where I was. Okay, so I just decided that I'm not. And yes, some of the guys that were recording in my studio were really hitting on me really badly. They really liked me. They were just worrying me here and there and because people saw my brand online they felt like i don't know like i'm i'm you can take advantage of me sexually you understand what i'm saying or they want me to um okay my mic is still working okay it's like they want me to you know be in a sexual relationship with them because of the brand okay so i just decided that you know what i'm just gonna look for my own money and after my contract ends i'm just going to look for my own money and then next time around if i'm to do music again i'm going to sponsor my own self and then wear what i want to wear sing what i want to sing and here it is the contract lasted for a year i had one year renewal contract that i could renew and then after um the one year if i'm interested i could go for extra two years so i was fortunate to go into just a year contract unlike black sherry whose contract is not just one year renewal if you're an artist and you're upcoming that's the best advice i could give you you can just go for one year if you like your management you can just renew it annually yeah actually i didn't wait for the whole contract to end um this will happen okay um one friend of mine went to see my manager and went to tell her that i don't know why people are like that this guy went to tell her that you know what the girl you are producing she's never going to bring out his song no matter how you worry yourself and the much of money you spend on her she's just not going to be good although she has the talent and all that because she has god's grace on her and so many things so this lady listened to the guy and she, she wasn't really um being active with me till the year and ended and you know what as i said that i was in um a christian society so i had people calling me telling me i've dreamt about you god is not happy with you you are going to hell a whole lot of things i can't even tell my parents all these things i know my my family relatives will be listening to this and they'll be like really this what happened to you yeah that's what happened to me uh, people were just scaring me here and there so i just decided you know what i'm just gonna put this to a hold when i'm mature enough in mind financially i'm just gonna take this up again okay why did i choose to be in the beauty world as a makeup artist um the truth of the matter is i really love to look good i really love colors i love fashion a lot right now i don't have money so you guys are not seeing anything i know i know one day if i become rich or i'm able to have money buy and afford all that i can afford guys you're gonna see the best trust me this is just a tip of the iceberg guys <laughs> trust me you guys are going to see more than this honestly so the thing is i love looking good and all that and secondly one of my good aunties suggested to me that why don't i try doing makeup because I, I love looking good she can see that i'll be good at it um auntie yeah i'm really grateful to you for that opportunity and that advice she advised me and um, she spoke to my dad about it and my dad decided that yeah 
not a bad idea why don't i pay so he paid for it and i went to learn it i learned it at um uh, my auntie auntie yes good friend please auntie c so my mother was auntie c. she's a concubine she's the one who taught me how to so that's basically the reason why i'm here i'm here in this because i love what i do i just love it and i have so much passion for it basically okay guys so if you're interested to know much about how this makeup thing because it's a whole story on its own i cannot pull all that out in this video i don't want this video to be empty so if you guys want to know how i began a makeup career the ups and downs uh, my equipment i'm using um the progress so far how i started um being on youtube why youtube became a choice and all that just comment down below i'm going to shoot a second video about it okay so guys we've come to the end of the video i'm super happy and thank you guys so much for making it up to this date thank you so much guys i love you guys and please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share your thoughts share my videos i love you guys so much and catch you in my video same time next week i'm out Thank you.